Turnaround at Papa John's continues. Despite the brand feeling the effects of inflation, just like many others in the fast food space, let's dive more into the company's business with Papa John's CEO, Rob Lynch. Rob, always great to get some time with you. We were just talking to uh, Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester, and, and she outlined the scenario where, where we might see another quarter of negative growth. From your vantage point, does it feel that challenging out there right now in consumer land? So, Brian, thanks for having me on. You know, what I would tell you is it's almost a tale of two worlds here. We've got great demand for our products, uh, positive comps in Q1, despite the most challenging operating environment we've ever seen. And we just guided for positive for the year. So we're bullish on continuing to grow. Uh, that being said, you know, there's a lot of uh, opportunities for us to, to get even better. The, you know, the labor model is still challenging, both from a wage inflation and a staffing standpoint. And obviously, we've got the commodity inflation that everyone is seeing. Uh, we've you know, been able to strike a good balance between productivity and pricing to be able to mitigate some of the impact of, of that inflation, but uh, it's still still a challenging operating environment where, you know, I've got to give credit to our franchisees and our team members who have been able to persevere through, you know, really what's been about two years of, you know, a new normal seems like every quarter. So, uh, but we're bullish on 2022. And we think, you know, if this inflation, inflation does come under control, some of the things we've done during the last four to six months will actually put us in an even better position coming out of this situation. Rob, when you and your team go line by line on the income statement, do you see any signs that inflation is peaking in transportation, in ingredients, in wages? Do you see anything in there? We do see um, some improvement, so, you know, at least a plateau on some of the inflation on both uh, the food cost as well as maybe some of the wage inflation starting to, 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 to normalize. I wouldn't say it's going down yet, um, but staffing levels have sequentially improved throughout the year. January was by far the toughest month for us. Uh, I think, you know, people forget the, the word Omicron at this point, but it, it posed one of the, lar the toughest operating environments ever, uh, where we had five or six team members per restaurant out at, at any given time. And so really hard to operate in that environment. Um, but now, since then, we have seen staffing levels improve, um, and that should mitigate some of the wage inflation that we have seen, you know, for the last really 18 months. Hey, Rob, it's Julie here. You talked a lot about on the call about you guys being an affordable option for people or, you know, providing a sort of a range of prices for people so that they can afford it in this environment. But in this environment, is something like a plain pizza a loss leader for you guys? Are you losing money on the lowest price items on your menu? You know, there's definitely been some margin dilution, but um, we're not at the point yet where we're seeing, you know, negative uh, impact from, from our core sales. You know, obviously if there's a really hot promotion done at a local level to try and drive some incremental transactions, that could be kind of at the break even level, but we're still making money. Um, and, you know, what we've done over the last two and a half years is we've launched a lot of premium innovation at premium price points that have allowed customers to self-select into those items like Epic Pepperoni Stuffed Crust we just launched two weeks ago. So we have a bit of a barbell strategy um, to your point where we still offer, you know, an $8 large pizza carry out, but we're, are, we're promoting our Epic Pepperoni at $14, which is actually the highest national promoted price point we've ever had. Rob, in the first quarter, you took, what, 7% pricing. Is that uh, the new norm uh, going forward here? Well, Brian, I sure hope not. Um, you know, we are trying to be very careful about how we think about pricing. We've built a great revenue management capability here at Papa John's over the last two years. As you know, we have more data than pretty much anybody in the industry because 75% of our business is e-commerce. So we're able to really understand the price sensitivity of our customers, both at the national level, at the local level, even at the store level. So we're trying to be very surgical about how we approach our pricing strategy. Uh, our 25 million loyalty members allow us to target each, each of our customers almost on an individual level with the amount of incentive that they need to incent them to purchase. Speaking of incentive, Rob, and I have to tip my hat to you because you have made a lot of changes at Papa John since you arrived, but you are now tying, uh, I guess, part of your compensation and the team's compensation to certain ESG goals on diversity, inclusion. Talk to us a little about what you're doing there and what are some of the goals specifically? 
You know, our core values and our company purpose have been at the heart of everything that we've done throughout the pandemic. And I, I fundamentally believe that that's been um, one of the reasons why we've delivered 10, 10 straight quarters of outperformance. And moving forward, looking ahead, we continue to challenge ourselves on how we can get better. We fought, we've always been the better ingredients, better pizza company. We also want to be the better ingredients, better pizza, better planet company. That means a lot to our employees. It means a lot to our customers. Personally, it means a lot to me. So we have, um, you know, kind of thrown down the gauntlet and said, look, we're going to put our money where our mouth is. And we're going to focus on the things that are not only important to the financials, uh, but are important to all of our constituents and making the world a better place. So it's it's part of my compensation. It's part of my executive team's compensation that we do we do good while we uh, obviously move the company forward. All right, we'll leave it there. Papa John CEO Rob Lynch, always good to see you. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Brian.